Hello there, in this guide I want to show you a method that worked for me that eliminated the stutters in Days Gone, remastered or the original as well. This also has the potential to increase your FPS, especially on AMD graphic cards, but this is not a guarantee, so keep that in mind. So what we need to do here first is to go to this GitHub link, I will leave it in the video description, the XVK. With this we can run the game in the Vulkan API instead of the DirectX 11. You just go here, click on the latest, and download the latest version. The latest version may be different for you, depending on when you download this. After you're done downloading, you just go ahead and open it, or extract it with an archive extractor, if you have one, like 7-zip. Then go to x64, and these are going to be the files we need. Then we go where, to where the game is installed. If you have the game on Steam, it should be in the following directory. Program files 86 in the C drive, then Steam. It should be all the way down here, then Steam Apps folder, then Common, and you should find the Gone folder here. But I have the game installed elsewhere, so make sure to find where the game is installed for you. And after that, we navigate to this folder inside the game, to where the game is executable is located. Then we drag and drop all these files, and we just go ahead and run the game, it should run in the Vulkan API. Now the following fix here is for NVIDIA graphic cards. You just go to NVIDIA control panel, then manage 3D settings, then program settings and locate the game in this list here on the left. If you can't find it here, you can just click on the add and locate it. After that, we navigate to the latency option here and we set it to ultra. I have this set already to ultra. I'll set it again, then apply should show up, and you just click on apply. Now, an extra thing that might help, but I did not need to do it for my case, but for you, you might find it useful, is to turn off the VSync in-game, apply, and then go to the NVIDIA control panel, or whatever software you use to control or limit the FPS. Then set the FPS limit to 60. Now the FPS will never exceed 60 and that should make the game more stable and click on apply. After that we go to where the game is installed and locate the game's executable like the path I showed you before where the game is installed. Then make sure the option of disable full screen optimization is checked here in the compatibility tab and then just run the game and it should run much better. Hope this video helped you out and peace out.